What's up you guys? My name's Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we are doing an update on my scorpion babies. This will probably be one of the more final updates on them because I just don't have a whole lot more to say about them after this because I got rid of a lot of them and we're gonna get into that. But before we do, um, Let's just kind of recap what happened. I'll link all my other Scorpion Baby videos down below if you guys want to check out and kind of see all of them and the story behind them and just see the progress that we've made together. But long story short, I got an Asian Forest Scorpion from an expo. It ended up being gravid. And one day when I went to check on her, she had 15 babies on her butt, and I kept them all. For a while, I kept them all. And by the way, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments that are like, Tyler, I just hate scorpions. I can't do scorpions. Why do you keep scorpions? They're disgusting. And I get it, scorpions aren't for everyone, you know? I have tarantulas too, tarantulas aren't for everyone. I personally can't do small yappy dogs, so I kind of get it, like not being able to do a certain animal. I can't do little mini Yorkies that yap in your face. You can't do scorpions, and that's okay. We can all still hold hands and get along with each other and appreciate animals. Am I right? By the way, Follow my dog on Instagram, at OfficialNovaDog. She is a gem, and if you're not following her, I don't know who you're following. Probably nobody important. Casually plugs my dog's Instagram in a video about my scorpions. Anyways, uh, yeah. My scorpion had 15 babies. They all did pretty well for a while. I've been keeping them in these plastic containers. I'll show you. I have one right here. I've been keeping them in these plastic containers that pretty much just has some moss and dirt in there, and I mist them every few days to keep up the humidity, give them some water, and they've been doing really, really well. I've never had any issues with them not eating. They've all been pretty active, and they've been growing really, really well. They grow very slowly, though. They're still pretty small, but they're a lot bigger than they were before. When keeping baby scorpions like this, some people do like to keep them all together in one container, and... A lot of people can do this successfully, however, there's always risks with them cannibalizing on each other or fighting for their food and stuff like that, although it isn't always super, super common, it does happen, but I have gotten questions about why don't I just keep them all together? Why do I keep them in all separate containers? And the reason for that was because I wanted to try and make as many of them survive as possible and I just wanted to minimize any risk of them killing each other or anything like that. Just because I wanted them all to live, even though I didn't have any use for 15 scorpion babies. But I decided that I wanted all of them to live and thrive the best they possibly could. So I just separated them all into their own individual containers, fed them all separately. It was kind of a lot of work keeping up with taking care of 15 scorpion babies and I was never planning on keeping them all. I knew I was going to end up selling them to someone. I was just waiting for not only the right opportunity but also I wanted to wait until I knew the scorpions were healthy and you know a decent size and well established so I wasn't just going to sell someone a scorpion that would end up dying. So as you guys know, I have been working with Josh's Frogs recently. They helped me set up a crested gecko tank. They helped me out with my Mist King system in my animal room. I love Josh's Frogs. If you guys want to buy anything off of the Josh's Frogs website, I'll link it down below. And if you use code TYLERRUGGY, you will get 15% off your purchase of anything on their website. So just... Take advantage of that if you need any supplies, if there's any animals you're looking for. And of course my mist system is going off now as we speak. Perfect timing. But yeah, I really, really like Josh's Frogs. They're definitely a company that I stand behind and I really, really enjoy them. I've actually gone to their place a couple of times and I've gotten pretty familiar with what they do and I really like them. So one of the times when I went there, they told me that they were working on breeding Asian forest scorpions and they wanted to start selling them. And I was like, well, guess what, friends? I have 15 babies. Would you guys want any of them? And they said yes. 
So I ended up selling most of my scorpions to Josh's frogs so that they could breed them and sell them to people. Um, I just knew that they would take good care of them and put them to good use. And I didn't want to have to deal with individually selling them all, making sure they all got good homes. I just knew that I could trust Josh's frogs with all of them. So I gave Josh's frogs all of my scorpions minus three of them because I wanted to just keep a few of them. There are a couple people who I know personally who wanted to have a couple of them. So I just decided to keep three for myself. I'll probably keep one and then find homes for the other two. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I sold my Asian forest scorpions to Josh's frogs. So I just want to show you guys what my babies look like right now, the three that I do have left. They're all very healthy, they're eating great, and I'm pretty confident that they will continue to thrive and that they'll grow. <laughs> And again, some people do like to keep them together, but I just choose not to because I don't like to take any unnecessary risks by any means. I've just heard of people saying that their scorpions ate each other and that made me not want to do it. Aside from, you know, scorpions being a little bit creepy, they make really interesting, cool pets. They're pretty low maintenance. They aren't a pet that you're gonna wanna take out and handle all the time because it's gonna stress them out but there's something just for you to look at, you know? So people who are afraid of them and don't want to have anything to do with them is fine. You can still own them as a pet though. You can still feed them and enjoy them and appreciate them from afar. If anything, they do better being appreciated from afar as opposed to actually like petting them or cuddling with them. That's not what scorpions are for. And I think that's what people need to realize when they're like, why would you want a scorpion or a tarantula as a pet? It's not because I want to cuddle up with it in bed and watch Netflix with my scorpion. It's just because I think they're fascinating, they're cool, and I just like to look at them and watch them and take pictures of them. I have a very mundane life, if you couldn't tell. I just find joy in the simplest of things. But yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to update you guys on my scorpion babies, so uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about them, and again, I plan on keeping the three I have. I might, you know, give two of them to somebody, but for now, these three are mine, and, you know, at least one of them we will keep and we'll watch it grow, and I'll continue to do a little update here and there on my videos. So if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and if you guys want to check out my videos, I have a lot of other animals, so if you guys want to learn more about some animals and get excited about creepy things like snakes and tarantulas. I I feel cringy inside. Like I feel a cringe when I say that snakes and tarantulas and stuff are creepy. I get it, but like they're just so cute. <laughs> um but yeah, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already left. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, turn on my notifications so you get notified most of the time I upload because a lot of you guys tell me the notifications don't work sometimes. But Hit it, hit the notification bell, and try your best to get notified every time I upload. Follow me on all my social media if you want to keep up with my animals and see all the cute, stupid pictures I post to them. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Subscribe. How many times can I say, that's it, subscribe, in one video? Subscribe. All my social media links are linked down in the description below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe.